Order. Question number eight, Ian Lees Galloway. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, my question is to the Minister for Workplace Relations and Safety. Is he satisfied that the Employment Standards Legislation Bill will end zero hour contracts? Ah. The Honourable Stephen Joyce. Now, Mr. Speaker, on behalf of the Minister for Workplace Relations and Safety, yes. The Employment Standards Legislation Bill will support families by extending eligibility for paid parental leave, will help protect hardworking New Zealanders by strengthening the enforcement of employment standards, and it will address unfair practices such as zero hour contracts. While the term zero hour contracts does not have a legal definition, it generally refers to agreements that require an employee to be on call and available for work without providing guarantee of hours or payment in exchange for that availability. The government has made it clear that there's no place for these types of employment relationships in New Zealand's labour market. The precise detail of the legislation is currently being considered at the Select Committee, and I look forward to its recommendations in due course. Supplementary question. Supplementary question in Lees Galloway. Does he acknowledge that zero-hour contracts don't currently exist in law, but will if his bill passes as it stands? Uh, the Honourable Stephen Joyce. Uh, Mr Speaker, on behalf of the uh, Minister, I acknowledge the first part of that question. Um, I think it is a matter of debate on the second part, and that's uh, being discussed at the Select Committee currently. Supplementary question. Supplementary question in Lees Galloway. Well, then, does he agree with Human Rights Commissioner Dr Jackie Blue, who said that the bill, quote, leaves too much room for zero-hour contracts, as there is still no provision for minimum hours to be offered in individual employment contracts, end quote? The Honourable Stephen Joyce. Um, Mr Speaker, on behalf of the Minister, I don't think that Jackie Blue is the Human Rights Commissioner. Order. Oh. Question number nine. Oh, order. Point of order. Point of order, Mr. Mr. Point of order in Lee's I think that's a fine point. I may have slightly order. got order. the, the order. name right, wrong, but in, indeed that may well be the case. But that's only a point of order. Fine. Supplementary. Does, Supplementary question in Lee's Does he really expect the public to believe that everything's going to be just fine? When the last time he did this, he ripped the right to health and safety reps off tens of thousands of Kiwis and broke his boss's promise to the Pike River families. The Honourable Stephen Joyce. Mr Speaker, on behalf of the member, he's simply incorrect, as he was in the previous supplementary. And, Mr Speaker, the government is working very hard to ensure that this matter is properly addressed. And I'm sure the member, in his quieter moments, is contributing at the Select Committee. <laughs> Supplementary. Supplementary question, Ian Lees Galloway. Isn't this just more of the same from a government that's making life less and less secure for working Kiwis? Just like when they took away New Zealanders' meal breaks, weakened their health and safety on farms, cut negotiating Order. rights, Bring let employers walk conclusion. away from the bargaining table, Order. forced Order. film Order. workers to Order. become... A question must be delivered in line with standing orders. That one is not. I warn the member to bring it to a conclusion. I will give him one chance to ask a question that is in line. If he can't manage to do so, we're moving on immediately. Ian Lees Galloway. Well, isn't this just another example of him ripping away rights from Kiwi workers? Honourable Stephen Joyce. Well, Mr Speaker, on behalf of the Minister, no. I appreciate the members probably auditioning for the Labour Party conference this weekend. But the reality of it is, is this government takes a sensible and measured approach to these matters, and the new workplace safety and health legislation is a very big step forward on the past law. Question number nine. Stuart Smith.